Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh, and a very good morning here in Malaysia. So, uh, good to see you all here. Uh, first, I would like to say thank you to the organizer for inviting me for this keynote sessions. Also for for the woman University of Mountain Pakistan who was giving me this opportunity to share my um, research and my knowledge uh, in my fields. Um, again, I'm glad to see you all here. And then um, it's, um, it's a great to be here. It's a great to be the part of uh, this uh, conference, Smart Education Conference. Actually, I'm very, I'm very excited to be uh, to, to share with you my 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 keynote my keynote session because uh, I think that um uh, uh the Women's University of Malta is a unique university that I've uh, been uh, since uh, I've been a lecturer so. This is uh, the university that um, specifically or special built for women. So uh, that uh, brings excited in me. Uh, and then um, because of this, of this uh, keynote opportunity, um, actually I am very excited to go to physically to Women University of Malton, Pakistan, and be in Pakistan, but um, some problems here um, when we have um, uh, some uh, some problems that the traveling problems for the government. So from my university also, so it's it's been like um, it's it's hard for me, and also I have um have to. Take care of my um my family, my my wife and my children. I have two, I have three kids, three children, two boys, son and one daughter. Um, which is um the second, my second child. He is a uh, diagnosed uh, as um autism, autism children. So. Uh, it's it's hard for me to to let them them here and when I'm traveling to to, to Pakistan or to another country, so it's it's hard for me because um uh, when I left uh, my children, especially my second son, with my wife, uh, it's hard for for her to to manage uh, my our kids. So I'm I apologize. I'm 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 really sorry sorry about that. Uh, so um, it, actually it's it's hard for me because I'm and my excited to be in uh, Pakistan, be in Women University of Malton, or maybe after this, if I can be the visiting lecturer, maybe I can bring them together to to um. Mountain University of a uh, woman University of Mountain, Pakistan. Maybe if I got next opportunity from uh, from the woman University of Mountain, so it's great. So the second one is um I'm very sorry. I, I feel uh, I, I will uh, I will apologize. Make my apologize because um I can't be online um I can't online for this keynote session because um I have to. Travel back to my hometown in Kedah uh, to visit uh, my um, parents, my mother and my father. They, they are suddenly uh, fall sick yesterday, so um, they need um, me and my family to be there. So I think um, I have to. I have to go back to my hometown. So actually, I have to go uh, this morning, but um, I um, I am delay my travel to 
this evening because uh, my wife uh, still be in her school. So I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry because I can't online for this uh, keynote session. But if you have any questions or any doubt, you can uh, email me or you can uh, uh, ask uh, uh, the organizer through the organizer to reach me. And um, I will uh, definitely answer what you, what, uh, all the questions you have uh, asking me. So, um, um, I have um, this opportunity and then um, I hope I hope that um, this is not the last opportunity, opportunity that I get uh, I, I can get from uh, this woman University of Malton and also um, we my institution my university University Kebangsaan Malaysia the National University of Malaysia and Women University of Malton Pakistan we organize um one more um, conference and other collaborations, which is uh, we will sign the letter of intent in this month. So I I um, I hope that this that opportunity will give us um, advantage and will give us more. Um, more opportunity to, to, to collaborate in other, uh, other, other way. Okay, then, then I so that uh, I can go to the Pakistan as a visiting lecturer maybe, so I can uh, share share the, my, my experience, my um, knowledge about um, special education. So, I am Dr. Muhammad Norazmi bin Nordin. I am from um, University Kebangsaan Malaysia. I am the special needs, special education lecturer. Um, I am the coordinator for visual impact program here in UKM in my faculty of education. So here I have organized the, the Bachelor of uh, Education in special education, specifically for visually impaired. I'm also organized for master's program in special education and also the PhD program for special education, specifically in uh, uh, visual impact. Uh, program. So today, I would like to share with you um, about my research, my recent research about the blind students. So um, this is uh, before I, I um, uh, go through to to my um, my research. So um, I will brief. A little bit about my um, my faculty and also my my um, university. So this is uh, the front um, gate of my university, University Kebangsaan Malaysia. So those who have been here in Malaysia, this uh, my university, University Kebangsaan Malaysia is. Um, um, one of five uh, research university uh, in Malaysia, and um, University Kebangsaan Malaysia is the three top three best university in Malaysia, and we are ranked um, in the one hundred and twenty seventh best university in the world. So. Um, my university um, uh, uh, was started uh, was started in uh, nineteen seventy five. So uh, actually, my university, University of Bangsa Malaysia, is the second um, second university in Malaysia after University of Malaya. <coughs> so um, again, welcome to. Um, Virtual International Conference on Smart Education, which which is uh, held in Women University of Malta, Pakistan. So I'm very proud to be here. I'm very proud to be the part of this um, conference, and um, I'm very excited to be in Pakistan actually. And I hope that uh, one day 
if uh, I got the opportunity in uh, maybe for visiting lecturer or visiting professor, I will be there. I definitely want to be there, want to, to be in a uh, woman university of Malton in Pakistan or um, other university also in Malton, in Pakistan. So again, I am, I am Dr. Mohd Norazmi Ben Abdin. I am a special education lecturer, Faculty of Education, University Kebangsaan, Malaysia. So this is my faculty. Uh, it looks like a school here, like a primary or secondary school in Malaysia. But my faculty uh, was the only uh, one of three um, faculty that offer special education um, program here in Malaysia. So we are the, the, the biggest one. The second one is uh, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris in Perak, Malaysia. And the third one uh, in um, University Science Malaysia. Uh, University Science Malaysia in Penang, Malaysia. So this is uh, the front you know, of my um, faculty. Hope uh, I also invite you to come here and see what we have in uh, my faculty. So uh, hope so. We meet. We can meet here one day. So this is special education. Those who are familiar with special education, the special education is the, the education that we provide. The service of education that we provide for special needs students which are they are in if here in malaysia we have three main category for special needs uh, students first we have um, um deaf and mute students deaf and mute students they can't hear and they can't talk so we teach them uh, through uh, the sign language and the second one we have um the the, the second category is um uh, visual impact, so which is my program. So they can um, see, they are blind. So if you can uh, see back um, in my office, that, that is a um, braille uh, for the blind that use this uh, machine to write. So the third uh, category is uh, for uh, learning difficulties. So learning difficulty students, we have um, much more uh, subcategories, which is um, we have Down syndrome, we have autist, which is my son's also autist, and we have maybe dyslexia, we have cerebral palsy. They can't, um, they have uh, no, no. So if uh, their hands straight, so they can't bend it, they can't. So it's always be straight like that, like this one. And then we have uh, physical disabilities uh, using the wheelchair. And also we have um, multiple disabilities. I've got one student which is uh, in category, uh, in, in, in the biggest, I, I think that is the major problem because that uh, my students, one of my students is uh, deaf blindness. Uh, he is uh, deaf can hear, if mute, can talk, can't talk, and also they have a um, blind, he cannot see. So that special education, so we teach them also using the, the specific method, specific way and the specific core curriculum for them, so that they also can uh, have uh, education like others. So um, my um, uh, research is uh, about the maths performance or mathematic performance. So blinds, um, the title of my research is Blind Students Maths Performance in the Pandemic, the Impact of Flip Classroom Learning. learning. So based on um, what uh, we know here, if a normal for for the more normal uh, students, we can do the flip classroom learning in um, in the normal way. It's, it's easy for us as a teacher, as a lecturer, to conduct uh, the flip classroom. So 
uh, but for the blind students, uh, this is um, uh, we have to struggle a little bit to make sure that the flip classroom classroom learning uh, will give an impact because um, the pandemic that that we have uh, last year uh, from from 2019 2020 and also 2022 uh, the give us uh, teachers and lecturers uh, the opportunity to do um, the online teaching and also we have to do the flip classroom uh, which is um, uh, we have to follow the the step uh, in 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 uh, conduct the classroom. So uh, the the students will be prepared at home and then uh, come to school or online online learning uh, and that, at that stage we, we as a teacher or lecturer we, we facilitate them to do their their their, their activities the learning and then. After that, we revise back our, our learning. So as an introduction, the world is plagued by a, by a COVID-19. The world, not in Malaysia only, not in Pakistan only. The world to face this, um, this, this pandemic. Online distance learning during a pandemic is the one of government strategies in this scenario. Lah. So uh, the, the best way, because we, we, we can... Um, be in school so the best way is uh, we have to we can conduct the online um, online um, classroom online learning so learner comprehension comprehensions is projected to be fully realized in online education uh, using media uh, using the internet using the laptop and then uh, using the gadget Children with disabilities, including those who are blind, specifically for the blind, must also feel, feel this optimism. There are many aspects of everyday life, like teaching and learning, that might be hinted by uh, blindness students or blindness people, like the, uh, the inability to see. It's, um, it's easy for us if, if we can see, but the blind student, they can't see. So how, how was the, the, the flip classroom give the impact for their learning? But that might be um, an individual who is blind must first master in the ability to hearing and touching. So the flip classroom, actually we, we have to, 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 um, to make sure that uh, these students, these blind students uh, have their best abilities to hear and also to touch. A technique of teaching media that may be conveniently utilized by blind students when they are away from school and studying at home is the flip classroom. They learn first in a, they, they, they learn first, um, they're ready for their learning uh, in their house, at their house, and then we facilitate them. And then we go for the revision. If um, if you are teaching a visually impaired pupil or students, you must employ media that are both tactile and auditory. You can touch and also you can hear. Like braille, writing and embossed graphic in order to help them to learn. In educational approach in which content explanations are offered outside of class, time and homework assignments are carried out at school is known as the flip classroom. So not only the online classroom that we have to make sure that it uh, gives the, the, the best uh, effect or impact for the student. <coughs> we also, the, the best way is um, we are using the flip classroom. When teaching visually impact purpose in a flip classroom, the media should be able to help them by highlighting the, the audio. Okay. So this is uh, the uh, methodology. We have sample here. Sample is the, the blind students. We we what uh, we conduct the experimental class, okay, or control class, two, okay, uh, because we want uh, to see the impact. One um, one uh, group is the experimental for class experimental, and the other group is for a control class. The experimental is um, we experiment uh, the, the 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 general. Uh, impact for the, the, the students, but the control class 
we we manage them in a uh, flip flip uh, flip classroom for the experimental class we 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 give the treatment we give uh the the, the um the way we facilitate them in flip classroom also we we give them um, interventions uh, contra with a control class that uh, we 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 just give uh, uh, the, the learning uh, the learning session which is not a uh, flip classroom and then we we test them pre and the post uh, test after the treatment so uh, we want to, to look the, the impact of the learning because uh, one group we, we use a flip class classroom and another group we we, we just are uh, online as as usual so uh, at the last stage we we um, want to to to, to know uh, what are the the outcome okay yeah so sorry sorry um, Sorry, um, it's uh, been some. Uh, I have to 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 um, wait. I have to stop sharing here because I have to. Okay. So that uh, the 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 methodologies we we use to to see the impact of um, flip classroom. Okay. So research process that I um, I I'm told uh, before um, we we use the cosi experiments okay we we'll give uh, we pro we divide uh, uh, we divide our our sample to two um, groups one experimental and the second one is control class experimental we use a split class flip classroom but in the control class we we just um, conduct the on uh, the usual online uh, learning, and then we 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 we, we conduct the pre and the, also the post test to see the impact of of the of uh, the flip classroom. So if we can see here, uh, the experiment and the control class give us uh, the the different results. Okay, which is a um, experiment I give the sense standard deviations is more specific that um, um, uh, that we, we we can say that uh, it has um, a change that uh, students have uh, experienced so um, this is a normally test we we conduct the, the pre post uh, first and then the second and then the post test so what we have here oh, we can see the um, drastically um, uh, uh, result when we we when we teach using the flip classroom and we are not using the flip classroom. So from the result, we can state that the we can state that when we see that the post test result, we can state that the flip classroom give the relevant uh, impact for stu blind students learning in mathematics. So um the finding also uh, when we use a 55% confident interval of the difference we can state that also we can state that the flip classroom give us um, relevant effect impact for the uh, blind student learning um, uh, besides, uh, we use the conventional learning or online, uh, usual line or online learning. So, at the discussions, maths outcomes or mathematics out outcome for blind students in the COVID nineteen pandemic are better with the 
the use of flipped classroom learning paradigm. With the flipped classroom learning paradigm, students learn by doing rather learns by doing. Okay, because uh, if you we have a uh, if only we conduct online session, they they are not doing uh, the activities. They only can can hear only. So in a flipped classroom, students learn by doing rather than listening to lectures or uh, teachers, which allows for more time for discussion and hands-on exercise. Okay, so um, as a result, learners are instead required to view videos from their instructor before a meeting in order to better comprehend the topic they will be discussing with their professors or with their uh, teachers in person or online. The flipped classroom learning technique was used to conduct the study, which include both classroom and non-classroom activities. When studying outside of the institutions, pupils or students who are blind have difficulty understanding the content. Thus, the school provides the activity to help them better understand it. There are five stages that we um, to, to an activity in classroom. So this is uh, the, the, the suggestion, um, uh, which is um, wait, um, one, begin the exam by giving a preliminary test or warm up an activity in the classroom, uh, dis discussing with peer, presenting the result of student and materials comprehension, Concluding the course and giving learners the post-test test and, a, and a survey. So as a conclusion, the learning style known as the flipped classroom often involves students participating in activities both inside and outside the classroom. Both of these pursuits are very essential and should be carried out to their full potential in order to achieve desirable outcome. The flipped classroom learning paradigm Although having a number of benefits, also has the potential to have a number of drawbacks, which might have make might make it more difficult to resolve these issues. The role of the instructor is necessary in order to handle the situation that have the potential to distract the the class. So, uh, from this study, we can conclude that um, flipped classroom is the best way to give the impact for blind students learning. So that's all uh, my keynote session, my sharing. So if you have any question, you can um, uh, make it through the, um, the, the organizers. And I hope that my, my sharing session, the sharing session will give us benefits. So until we meet again for another session or another conference, and um, thank you for being here and thank you for being with me for this uh, keynote session. So till we meet again, Assalamualaikum and goodbye.